All right, cutting fans, here we are at iteration exploration. So now we're gonna see how we iterate across this. Um, so we have our let columns equal zero, one, two, three, four. Um, and so we're supposed to give our loop a variable name and pass it onto your array. And they want us to call our um, variable name uh, or our loop column. So we'll go ahead and do that. We're gonna need to go C O L U M N. Okay, so for column in our array name. The array name up here is columns. So we'll just go ahead and do that. Columns. Um, so for column and columns, and we're looking at these columns right here. Notice there's only one row to put stuff on. Okay, and it says place a gem and a switch for each column. So we already have gem down, and we need to figure out what column. So it's all going to be in row one. So we're going to iterate from our uh, from our for loop. So this is where it gets kind of weird. When we're inside our loop name named column, we reference it, and then it references our array. So we want column here. If we go ahead and we place that, um, we will then get gems at all of our spaces. All right, and there's other things we could do. We could mess with, we could take away two, and it would skip this middle one right here. Um, but notice we didn't get the check mark, and that's because we did not place a, a, a switch. So let's go ahead and do that as well. So from here, we're going to world.place. All right, we've got lots of new things. Okay, so we've got this place item. And we are going to place, we need to place a switch, so capital switch with parentheses behind it. At column, now remember, we want it at all of the columns that we have stated in our array. So we're going to say, okay, at column, all the ones in the array columns, and we all want it at row one. All right, we'll go ahead and run this, and this will put them all at row one. Um, yeah, there we have it. Um, and then, like I said, there's many things we could do. If we put them at row five or whatever, they would end up being off the map. Or if we put everything at row zero, they would be in the water, stuff like that. Anyway, so now we're iterating over a, uh, an array of columns as opposed to rows. All right, so remember, columns are where the position is left and right. And then rows are where the position is bottom to top. All right, I'll see you on the next one.